Yo. What's up, Chris? Hey, my bro. What's happening? What's up, guys? Hello, everybody out there in the world. We hope you're having a lovely, lovely, magical day. Man, awesome. what do we got going on today, Kenny? We're hanging out. We're hanging out. We're going to do a little bit of uh, back to basics, you know, kind of show some filtration, talk about decarb a little bit. Uh, I think it's, you know, it's always important. People always have questions about these, uh, these basic techniques. So we just kind of want to go over that a little bit, answer any questions that you guys have, uh, and, uh, and have some fun. So we're, thanks we're, for joining. We're going to be doing some, some filtering. We're going to show you guys some storage techniques, talk a little bit about lecithin. All kinds of things. And as always, we're going to be doing a giveaway today. That's right. Yeah. We're going to be giving away the Filter Press gummy set, okay? Woo. You're going to get the brand new Magical Butter Filter Press. We're going to talk all about that today. You'll get three mason jars, custom magical mason jars. You're going to get a jar of coconut oil, one free gummy mix, and all three measuring cups. It's the Filter Press Gummy Set giveaway. Hit us with the hashtag Magical Infusion. Magical Infusion for that giveaway. Woo! Go ahead and start, start spamming us with that. Hit that down below and we'll pick some winners at the end of the show. So stay tuned with us. No confusion, Magical Infusion. infusion. All, right, All right, guys. We're live today in the Magical Butter Studio. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, man. We had a good, uh, a good weekend. And, uh, good week so far. Good week so far. Man, we, we made those nice, delicious Cuban sandwiches the other day. That so was good. Uh, That was choice. It was delicious. Also, guys, as always, we got a really special code going on. It's 10% off your total order using MB Live at checkout, okay? MB Live on MagicalButter.com. MB Live, 10% off. Great, great. Nice. So get, get what you don't got, you know. If you need, uh, need to pick up the new filter press, the decarb box, some of the gummy mix. All can, that. Use the code for all of those uh, all those items there. So, and if you don't know, we're live today on Instagram, Facebook, and streaming live over there on YouTube. If you're watching on the boob tube, I'm sure we look great, nice and large today. If you're on one of the other platforms, we would appreciate it. Go go check out the other ones and, and throw us a little follow or a like. If you're on Facebook, go to YouTube or you know Instagram. It really helps us out more than you know, and, and we appreciate it. Totally, like, share, tag your friends. Invite them in here. This is a good day. So people ask us all the time, first of all, what is decarboxylation? They're wondering, do I have to decarboxylate? There's, there's a lot of questions that go around uh, in the group, and, and also you know, we get calls about this. So we wanted to go through it. We've got the one and only solution for you, the decarb box. And this thing is great. It's, it's going to create an airtight seal and really preserve you know, all those terpenes and flavonoids and, and, and really give you the best activation here. So, Kenny, what do you love best about the decarb box? I love the decarb box that it gives you more control and, you know, everyone has an oven already, you know, so you don't have to pay for an expensive heating element or some separate, uh, you know, device to do the decarb. So what the box allows you to do is monitor and, and, and regulate the internal temperature as you're decarbing. Because most ovens, they kind of fluctuate and they're not at a constant temperature, which can be really frustrating. And, you know, without the decarb box, you're just throwing it in blindly. You don't know really what temperature you're at. Uh, so with this, you get a little more uh, precise of activation and really maximize your, uh, you know, your product. Maximize your maximize medicine. Maximize and you get the peace of mind knowing you're not overheating or, or destroying those, those precious uh, cannabinoids there. So decarb oxalation is just simply a process of activating your herbs. It, it uh, activates the psychoactive compounds in your plant and it's crucial when you're going to be consuming it because that's going to be really where you get those effects from. Exactly. So uh, today we're going to decarb oxalate the, the herbs that we have here. Go ahead and just drop those in. Nice and easy. This thing can hold up to three ounces of herbs. It's, it's a silicone shell. You, you get a nice tight seal there and it comes with a digital thermometer with a probe and this probe is going to monitor the temperature, the internal temperature of the box inside. Right? So this goes in the oven and this stays outside the oven. Outside the oven. So cool. Let's go pop this in real quick. Boom. So today we'll be activating the THC be 250 degrees for 30 minutes 
we went ahead and prepared a sample prior to the show. So once your herbs are uh, fully decarboxylated, it's going to take about 30 minutes. Um, you're going to want to pull those out and let them completely cool before you open this box, okay? If you, if you uh, open this up when it's still hot, you'll get a gust of, of steam and, and really lose a lot of that essence. You want to kind of let that all rest and cool. Dense back down and, and yeah. add to your, to your product. So, Kenny, check it out. What do we got in there? Let's see here. So, we got nice. some of the decarbed herb here and... Um, Nice and toasty. Nice and toasty. It should kind of have like a, a golden, you know, it's going to discolor a little bit, take away some of that, that vibrant green. It should kind of be like golden brown, um, you know, kind of a little, little dry to the touch. But um, as long as you're doing it at this, the right temperature and time, you don't have to worry about ruining or damaging any of the, uh, you know, the, the psychoactive or, you know, medicine that's inside the herb. And, and the thermometer is great. It, you set your target temperature and it's got a loud alarm. So as you approach and if you, if you get above that temperature, you can quickly adjust your stove to, to make sure that you're below that uh, desired temp. So uh, that's great. So we've got the decarbed herb. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to make a coconut oil infusion in the magical butter machine. This is coconut oil is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. It's so versatile. You know, you could use it in recipes. You could use it topically. Um, you know, make different kinds of uh, things with it. And uh, I think the coconut oil is. You know, it has one of the highest uh, extraction rates as well. You know, for the different different products out there. Yeah, I mean, the coconut oil is going to contain over 80% saturated fats, where you know maybe butters coming in around 60%, olive oil sometimes less than 20 percent you know so you, the that means that the coconut oil has way more potential to uh you know retain those cannabinoids and, and make your infusion really more potent mm. and uh there's one other thing we're going to be adding today to our coconut oil mm. and that's sunflower lecithin powder sunflower lecithin powder less Lecithin is more thin when it I like comes that. to infusing. I like that. What's the benefits of using lecithin? I know some people, you know, don't always use it. It's you don't technically have to use it, but we highly recommend it. Highly recommend. It's not a, a necessary ingredient, but it definitely will help. Uh, you know, make that final product. Just bring it up just another level. Uh, you know, with the infusion part, you're gonna. It's gonna help uh, bond everything together with the cannabinoids and the, and the lipids in your oil. Um, and then it also helps with the bioavailability. So when you consume it, you know, maybe it's a little easier to get into your system, absorbs a little, a little easier. And, uh, you know, so onset and, and the effects could be a little, a little more. So you kind of maximize, you know, the, the potential there. I love that. What a great, great summary. So today we're going to use the magical butter machine. This thing has got everything you're going to need to make the perfect infusion. You can make your butters, oils, or tinctures. It's going to heat, mix, steep, and grind, and all in the comfort of your own home. Nice and easy. You just select your temperature and your time. The machine's going to do the rest of that work for you. No more are you standing over your hot stove right. or, or wondering if this crock pot is really working. No way. Magical Butter Machine makes it so easy, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Enough about that. Kenny, why don't we go ahead and dump in our decarbed herbs. All right. So first, we're going to add in our decarbed herb here. All right. And it's important to notice here, we've got two different jars of coconut oil. One is completely liquid, okay? And the other is completely solid. Same jar, right? Same jar, same coconut oil. Uh, you know, when the, when the coconut oil gets below 76 degrees, it'll start to solidify and become a solid, okay? And if you refrigerate it, it's gonna become hard, all right? This we went ahead and we got it nice and liquid ahead of time. So it, when, when you've got your stuff already liquid, it makes it much easier mm. to just add that to your machine. And All that's right. about three cups? Two and a half. Three cups there. We're still below the max line. We're all good. We used about an ounce of herbs today. And then we're going to put three tablespoons of sunflower lecithin. So we here. use about a tablespoon per cup of oil or butter, whatever you're using as your medium. Uh, it's uh, one tablespoon per cup. There we go. Cool, we just eyed that out. No sweat. Uh, cool, so it's so easy to make 
incredible infusions with the Magical Butter Machine. You just throw all your stuff in there. There's really no labor. We give you all the tips and the recipes there. Now, the next step. Next step, so you're gonna press the temperature button first. So for oil, we're gonna do 160 degrees. So we'll go ahead and press that three times. And then, you know, for oil, the minimum time is one hour. You can do two hours just to kind of give it a little longer extraction. Could help, you know, maximize what you're going to get out. Um, so for this one, we're just going to go with uh, the one hour uh, oil button for this. Cool. Boom. So once it turns on, you're going to see those lights blink for a second. Both those lights should be on, indicating what time and temperature it's on. Um, and then you're not really going to hear it spin for the first time until it reaches usually the target temperature that you set it to. Um, so it's okay, you, you know, you're not going to hear it spin for the first time, maybe, you know, five, ten minutes before, uh, before you should hear that for the first time. Right, right. So it's, it's right now kind of in the, in the preheat cycle. It's going to get up to your desired temp. As soon as it, as soon as it reaches that, it's going to mix, stir, and grind periodically, giving you such a great infusion. You guys have been posting so many awesome photos and recipes and, and sharing that on, on the social channels. and. We really appreciate it. It's it's awesome. There's also a feature on our on our website where you can submit your own recipe. That's a good one. And yeah. uh, you know you you upload your photo and you upload your recipe and uh, we'll get that all published out and put on our website live and, and give give you the chef all the credit. All so, the credit. Thank you. All right. So now Kenny, we've got this thing going. We're gonna put this behind the scenes and and let it keep keep rolling. We actually have been infusing this morning. We've got two machines. This is going to be a side-by-side -side filtration demonstration. Mm. All right, all right. So we're going to go head-to-head. -head. We got Kenny. He stepped up, and he's going to show you guys this old-fashioned method of, of using cheesecloth, okay? And, and uh, I know a lot of people, you can, you can use this for filtering out your butters or oils. There's some... Uh, utility to it, but there's also a lot of challenges. A lot of challenge, a uh, little, little, a little messier, you know, as as far as like filtering and, and getting it everywhere. So we just kind of want to show the difference between using, you know, some of the old, uh, old techniques, old-fashioned technique with with cheesecloth, and we're going to use our, our new filter press, and uh, and see how it goes. So perfect. We Before we get started, I want to just show you guys the anatomy of this filter press, mm. okay? Because people are calling. They want to know about it. This thing is awesome, okay? So you're going to get this beautiful plunger with a silicone seal. This is going to be for applying pressure and getting every last drop. It comes complete with a funnel on the top. Lock everything in place. Kind of locks everything in, all right? This is the filter chamber, okay? So this thing is specifically designed to allow a natural flow. It fits onto a regular or uh, a large mouth mason jar, and this is the most important part. Okay, this is the ultra fine mesh. We've got the, the inner layer here. It's a 75 micron filter. This thing is uh, reinforced, very strong. Pop that right into the chamber, and then you wanna get yourself a glass jar. That's one of my favorite parts. I love that this goes directly into when I'm going to store it, you know, because you don't want to be transferring and moving this stuff around so much. It's, you know, can get messy and, and kind of hard to work with. So, you know, having the filter filtering go directly into the mason jar, I think that was, that was a brilliant idea. Man, you, you said it best. It's, it's a great design, brilliant, no waste, no, no mess, no drips, no drops. So we've got the mesh layer in. We're going to put the, the funnel on top. Get that tight, it locks into place. And now I'm all ready to strain and, and filter out. Uh, it's important, you know, when you're using the Magical Butter Machine, the powerful blade is gonna chop up and pulverize all your plant matter. And we're gonna use these filters to make sure we can, we can separate that and get a beautiful infusion. Awesome. So these are still warm here. Usually you wanna filter when you're, uh, your product, especially if you're using coconut oil or butter or something that solidifies. You know, when it cools down, you always want to filter, uh, you know, when it's still warm. It's going to make it easier to, uh, to, to go through the filter and, you know, a little... Uh... That's a great point, Kenny. And, you know, sometimes you may not be home when, you're, when your infusion finishes. You come back and it's, and it, it's already 
cooled down and, and maybe started to solidify. That's okay. Mm -hmm. The magical butter machine is very forgiving. You just turn it back on for about 10 minutes. Let it heat up. Get it mixed and melted one more time, and now you're ready to filter out. Awesome. So here we go. We got the filter, magical filter press here. I'm gonna, this is the cheesecloth. I'm gonna let you do that for one moment, and I'll be right back. Okay. We'll see what happens here. All right. So, looks like everything is, should be able to fit everything all at once. I'm just gonna dump it all in there, get all that pulp and everything. There is a little more in there. Let's see if we got a little spatula guy here. I wanna get all that goodness out. All right, and so now, here comes the part where it might get a little messy. So with the cheesecloth, it's gonna take a little longer to get everything out. So, you know, you can see it filtering out. And, you know, what you wanna do here is you would wanna squeeze it, you know, and this is where it can get a little messy. Um, Whoa, yeah. bro. What's going on? You got drops on the on the. I'm getting the it countertop. everywhere. It's all over my hands. Man, look. It's hot. You do what I you gotta do. I don't wanna touch it here. I'm gonna go ahead and start filtering this out. Nice and easy, effortless. No stress, no mess. And it's important to note that this filter press can hold one and a half cups of volume. So you wanna kind of pour about half your infusion in. Let that naturally kind of drain out. Look at how beautiful, it's like a shower. Looks like a shower, yeah. Oh, I wish I could shower in this. Look at that color too, that's beautiful. It would probably be very beneficial for you to take a oil shower. Um, okay, so you wanna let that naturally drain out. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh yeah, I just got a, a oh, notice. No. A little reminder, we, we did a geese slip and slide, baby, back in the day. Oh man, we have to watch that video. That was crazy. So here we go, I got the cheesecloth here. So the problem with this here is, you know, I, I, there's gonna be a lot of leftover oil in here that's gonna be hard to squeeze out. Uh, you know, you wanna maximize your yield, and I think that's really what the, uh, the filter press accomplishes with, uh, with the plunger. You know, you don't really have to put a lot of pressure on it. You have the leverage in there to barely even, you know, put any, apply pressure to it and you're gonna, you know, it's gonna get, get everything out. So. Someone says here they used to use uh, muslin, which I think is similar to some cheesecloth, like a, a filter uh, material. And they say they love the filter press so much better. It's a dark black fabric, I hear. Never heard of it before. M muslin, okay, yeah. thank you, that's a good tip. Uh, all right, so I've got this pretty drained out. You can apply a lot of pressure to this and get every last drop, okay, versus, you know, Kenny's plant matter is going to be still probably a little bit wet and have some, uh, let me get that plate over there, and still have some liquid in it. You'll notice that our... It's, yeah, you could tell you still have... Our oil is nice. Look at that jar, nice and clear. And you will be left with a nice, nice dry puck almost. Almost a puck. I should have pressed this a little longer here. Don't press your luck, guys. This thing is perfect. So, you know, those are two different filtration techniques. This filter press, I think, is going to be the supreme method for sure. That is such an enjoyable experience. Another great thing with the filter press is you can take everything apart. Everything's dishwasher safe. So, you know, cleaning is a breeze. You get all those oils and, you know, sometimes that stuff's hard to kind of wash off. So, you know, just throw that right in your dishwasher and let the, uh, let the dishwasher do the work for you. That's right. That's right, guys. So thank you so much for checking this out. Look, look at me here, man. What's... Look at you. Look at me. We got a little, bit, going of, on here? little bit of uh, oil on you. You can wash that right off here. And, you know, the next step is gonna be storage. So, you know, it's important you wanna store your, your infusions properly. And uh, generally, if you're gonna be having, you know, a long-term storage, you'll wanna keep that as can of butter. 
uh, or, or the oil and kind of make sure you're putting it into an airtight container. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a jar, uh, the magical butter jar is perfect. As you can see, we've strained right into the jar. I just put the lid on and this can go straight into your refrigerator. Um, if you're gonna do some long-term storage, even throw it into the freezer. Kenny now has this bowl of, of infused oil. He's gonna have to decide how he wants to uh, store that. One idea I have for him, you can pour it directly into these uh, magical butter trays and get these perfect little sticks. Uh, they're really helpful when you're making your recipes. Oh yeah, so you don't have to just use butter with these. So, you know, you could use, you know, oil, butter. Uh, we've made chocolate in them, you know, like chocolate bars. I think we made kind of like a, like a Snickers bar in one of these, right? You like got it. a nougat it. kind of bar. So there's a lot of uses that you could use with these. And um, I love them because they're great. They're uh, high quality and uh, easy storage, nice and rigid, so it's not going to move around a lot. You got the lid. You pop that in your refrigerator. Maybe you keep one stick on hand for your daily dosing. And uh, the other sticks you should prepare, wrap them up in plastic, toss them in the freezer, okay? And, and when you're uh, dealing with edibles and trying to determine if they're still good to eat or not after a long period of time, you want to treat that the same way you would any, any regular food, right? Like, check it for mold, make sure that there's none of that going on, and you should be good to go. Yeah, just do a little, uh, little smell test, taste test. And this is what we got going on here, all the different things we, can make, we have made with, uh, with this oil here. So we got our gummies in our, in our beautiful gummy molds. So this was made with, uh, with coconut oil. Look at that, look at that, guys. So, you know, you can use these uh, gummy trays for making gummies. You can also make chocolate. We made some white chocolate fudge here. Uh, caramels, hard candies, the possibilities are endless. You can even use mushrooms and make the same, same great edibles um, on another level. We've got our functional mushroom powders available on our website. You can really get some great, great benefits there. I'm gonna eat me a gummy, bro. Let's cheers it up. Well, no, oh, too late. I already chewed it up. <laughs> so, mmm. Is it good? It's great. So good. I, I hope that wasn't a double dose. Yeah, it might be. Double doozy. I'll get one of those. You guys, we got we to gotta shout these. out these giveaway winners. It's important for you guys to know you can always go on MagicalButter.com and uh, check mm. out all our recipes, get inspired, figure out ways to use your infusion once you get that hashtag magical infusion. Mm. So let's go ahead and shout out our winners over on Instagram today. Give it up for... Lynn Taboo. Lynn Taboo, congratulations. Ooh, Lynn, I think I like you. You just won a magical, Ooh. magical filter set. Congratulations. On YouTube, the winner today is Charmaine Brown. What, Charmaine? Charmaine Brown. The main thing, making it happen. You just got yourself a filter press set. Congratulations. Awesome. And on the one and only Facebook, give it up for the longtime viewer. First time caller, Karen Cuppenbender. Karen, congratulations, Woo! guys. And we've got some special shout outs going to Garen Angel. Garen the Angel. Man, the CEO and founder of Magical Butter. Let's Tune in go. next week because we might have a special, special guest join us on the show. You have to tune in to find out. And remember, guys, go over to magicalbutter.com. Make sure you use the code MBLIVE. Take advantage of that additional 10% off. Go get you know? yourself a filter press. Get some gummy molds. Get the filter get press the set. Get the decar box. Get the, get there the you, go. you know, all of it. We got the coconut oil, the sunflower lecithin coming at you hot. All the tips and tricks you need. This has been a great show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. My name's Chris. I'm Kenny. Have a magical rest of your day. Thank you. Woo!